Joe in real life. Okay, so this is going to be way off topic. But I have a friend who really likes Greta Van Fleet, the band. And I don't dislike Greta Van Fleet. I've only heard the hits as they've popped up on my um, radio stations or, you know, when I'm out or something. Um, but I don't love it. And my friend really loves it. And it's like, yo, you got to listen to the, what is it? Battle at Garden's Gate. That's their best album. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so this morning, basically I phoned in a workout. That's what you're seeing here. Just getting used to have some heavier weight on my back. Um, and I listened to the album. And this will su not surprise you, but I didn't love it. I think that uh, Greta Van Fleet gets picked on for sounding a lot like Led Zeppelin. And I got two issues with that. First issue, there's worse things to be a Johnny come lately to than Led Zeppelin. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna copy someone, you could do a lot worse. And number two, by that they sound like Led Zeppelin, do you mean they sound like 70s prog hard rock? Because that's what they sound like. They don't really sound that much like Led Zeppelin. Uh, they sound like 70s prog. And that's a weird thing to pick on somebody for, seeing as it's a lot better than modern rock. Um, so I never took that, that criticism very seriously, but I just don't really like it. It feels a little too anachronistic, especially in the production and the guitar sound. But listening to the album today, which I got, I got to state it again, I really didn't enjoy it. Um, I didn't dislike it, but I, I, f I found it kind of tedious. But holy shit, that kid can sing. Like, wow. I mean, I, I wish I had the tracks off the top of my head. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip right here. But there are parts where he hits notes so high it kind of fritzed out my um, my speakers, like my my ear set, um, and like you could you could argue that well he's got a high voice, you know that's his range. I mean, okay, sure, I it is on the higher side, but he was kind of all over the place vocally. The rest of the band absolutely serviceable, even good at points, very good. Um, still, just not my flavor, not something I'm really I'm really down for. But those vocals, wow. Like, potentially the most talented singer of his generation, at least male singer. Um, I can't think of anyone that compares. He reminds me of the Rodriguez guy who sings for Mars Volta. Like, seriously, that good. Oh, and I finished off with some um, one arm overhead squats. I worked up to 55. It felt awful. <laughs> uh, so that's it for today. Uh, uh, album review that nobody asked for and a pretty lazy workout. Um, I'm sore today and it's a rest day. Overall, I feel good and have minimal complaints. <sighs> Greta Van Fleet, you know, if, if it's your flavor, I mean, if you like 70s prog, I, I don't see why you wouldn't like it. Um, I like 70s prog too, but not that bend. But anyway, I love you guys. That's it for today.